Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just uh, I was reminded today by friends here in the office, uh, the, the uh, United States women's ice hockey Olympic team is competing for the gold medal on Thursday. I think in Korea it will be Thursday uh, against Canada. Uh, history is, uh, is on their side because Thursday will be the 38th anniversary of the event that Sports Illustrated listed as the number one sports moment of the 20th century, the miracle on ice, United States men's hockey team victory over the Soviet Union in, at Lake Placid in 1980. Uh, and so uh, the women are bound to do well. And looking back now, historians like to find patterns in random events. And it does seem like that victory over the Soviet Union was sort of a clarion call or a precursor or a prelude to, uh, to what turned out to be a remarkable decade of advancement and renewal for the country. Uh, nine months later, we elected a president who had run on the principle of renewing American exceptionalism and preeminence diplomatically and socially and militarily and economically. And within a decade, as that president had predicted, the Soviet Union and communism lay on the ash heap of history. And so in looking back, as historians do, we find significance in what seemed to be chance occurrences. The United States won that night, and we've never forgotten it ever since. By the way, you know, they, we, we, they didn't win the gold medal by beating the Soviet Union. They actually had to beat Finland two days later to get that medal. There was a good chance, had they lost to Finland two days later, they, they would have tumbled down to the bronze medal and might have not won a medal at all. But anyway, that isn't what happened. They scored three goals in the third period against Finland, won it four to two and won the gold medal. The miracle on ice, one of the greatest moments of this generation's lifetime, 38 years ago, Thursday. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Maloney.